Gary, first of all, welcome to Barnet. Um, you must be pleased to get back in the game yourself alongside Tim here with Barnet. Yeah, I mean, a long time, obviously, since we departed from Solio. Uh, so, yeah, with what's been going on uh, with the lockdown and stuff, yeah, glad, glad to, definitely glad to get back out of the house. Uh, Dorking was our first game Saturday. Yeah. We'll see you in the build up to Bournemouth and Maidenhead. What was your assessment of, of that first game? Uh, I think since sort of Thursday, Friday, we've been in with the training and then obviously a game coming quick on the Saturday. Um, it don't give us much time, but you know, um, in all fairness to Dorking, I thought you can see why they're doing well in the south and um, tough game. But um, I think what the gaffer, in terms of what he asked for, efforts and commitment and that, that, that was there and uh, you know obviously other stuff that the lads are going to need uh, some help and that's probably why we're here obviously. Each assistant manager I guess at different clubs has different roles, how yeah. does yours play a part with the link between you and Tim? Yeah I mean, Tim and myself have, have worked together uh, uh, Kiddyminster, Solio, so we know each other's strengths and weaknesses so pretty far reaching really um, you know there's no sort of boundaries on it Obviously, as a manager, he's got the last say and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, you know, um, we've both got a good knowledge uh, of this league. Um, I've been fortunate or unfortunate to finish runners-up in it twice uh, with Kiddy and obviously with Soli also, yeah. Um, you know, we can sort of bounce off each other well. When I speak to Tim and the boys, OK, we're all very disappointed with yeah. our, the league position and the start of the season, but there is a long, long way to go. So, if we can... Match the foundations, obviously, you and Tim yeah. with the efforts. Yeah. Plenty to play for this year. Yeah, I think we've got uh, a lot of scope to, to improve. And, and as you say, there's a long time left in the season. Um, you know, there's lads here, there's probably seven, six, seven or eight that we know of, you know, who, um, when you see their names against you on a team sheet in the opposition, uh, they're good players. So, yeah, definitely help them. The potential's here. Um, you know, and uh, we think we can, uh, once we get underway, then we can turn things around and start uh, getting results. Because one of the first sort of jobs that you and Tim have had is to try and reinstate a bit of confidence. Because as you say, there are six or seven players as you, yeah. you saw you'd be worried yeah, about, but yeah. they're players that need confidence to play to their full potential, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're, sp you're spot on. And, um, you know, lots of sports, whatever you look at, is all about confidence. But... Um, you know, we, we can do that. We, there's lots of things that they're good at, the, the ones that we know about. So sometimes you've got to keep telling them. It's easy to say what you're not good at. You know, let's tell them what they are good at because there's, there's plenty of scope there to they are good. Going into 2021, what's, the, what's your ambition and what do you think the club's ambition needs to be? Well, we'd, we'd, we'd be Tim and myself would be delighted uh, to you know, um, replicate what we did at Solio uh, and, and turn things around, which at times, if I'm honest, um, uh, Tim as the manager, uh, I don't think he got enough sort of credit for what actually happened there uh, when we spun it round from um, getting relegated almost to obviously finishing runners-up the following season. So if we can get anywhere near that here, then uh, we'd be delighted and, uh, you know, keep pushing on.